This is a laser that uses a traditional compressed spot diode laser. The laser shaping technology adopted by Sculptfun S9 makes the laser shape of S9 more slender than traditional diode lasers, with more concentrated energy and a wider range of effective cutting energy. Therefore, the S9 can cut the cutting thickness that traditional laser technology cannot achieve. And this technology enables S9 to engrave thinner lines, the thinnest line engraved by S9 can reach 0.08 mm. In the latest version upgrade, we also added an exhaust hood. When the S9 is engraved with high power on the wood, the edge of the image will not be browned. This technology is far ahead of its peers. In addition, the exhaust hood can effectively reduce the fume particles from attaching to the front lens of the laser. Reduce cleaning times. Stainless steel reflects most of the laser light. Blackened surface can improve engraving efficiency. To prevent the coating from being scratched, focus before applying black. Whiteboard pens and markers are good materials for blacking. It would be more convenient to use their refill ink. Whiteboard pen ink coating is good for engraving, but it is difficult to apply evenly. So I'll use marker ink for the presentation. Turn on fire to proofread the engraving position and avoid the laser spot passing through the engraving area. Use alcohol to wash off the coating. Sometimes you don't need to focus at the standard 20mm position. Now let's do a test. The focus position of 20mm is the position of the laser focus. The laser here is the thinnest and the most powerful. The test used a gradient grayscale image. With 0% power on the far left and 50% power on the far right. Now focus using the diameter of the cylinder, here the height is only 15mm. The laser at this position is thicker than the laser at the focal position, so we can increase the interval. The white engraving marks are good engraving marks, the position of the black marks, the fabric may have been damaged, we should try to choose low power engraving marks. Clean tile surfaces.
spray base paint, you can use other colors too. Spray the base color again, the engraving difficulty will be much less. A final coat of black spray paint. The use of honeycomb board can reduce the browning of the edge of the board when cutting. Refer to the engraving lines for easy coloring, and it doesn't matter if the outline overflows. I use gouache paint, it fades easily after it dries completely, it's no good, but I don't have any other paint. <laughs> 